I'm Micah. I'm Nobu. I'm Chris. We're trying to make it across the country on a bus powered by used cooking oil. We're seeking out backyard innovators who build earth-friendly inventions that work. It's a road trip experiment where anything can happen. Here we are in Killington, Vermont. Sweet. Isn't yeah. it nice? That's yeah, so beautiful. Yeah. It's a great time of year to be here. So we're going to stop off and check out free air? Yeah, we're going to go hang out with Richard Travers. I'm so happy that someone has made the leap to take outside air that's colder than the fridge and bring it in and use it instead of a refrigerator. It's brilliant. Hey, Martins. Yeah. I think we got a slalom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Are you guys ready? I think you should do it, too. All right. All right. You ready? Let's do it. All right. Put it on the fly. All right. Since we are in skis territory. Handling it. Christopher Martin is back in fine form. We've seen him shredding today in the green bus like never before. He's definitely had his breakfast today, ladies. <laughs> I'm psyched on the performance of his bus. Nice. Yeah, give her. It's great. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Michael. Hey, Alan Pat. Hey, Richard. Hey, this is Michael. Yeah. When ski season hits, this lodge will be packed and its fridges will be working overtime. But so will the cold air outside. One day, Richard Travers got a really cool idea. Well, I was sitting around uh, our dining room where we had an old restaurant um, refrigerator. It was just this noisy, clunky old thing that would make so much noise you couldn't hear the other guy talking across the table. And it just seemed really crazy because of that particular night. It, this uh, sort of eureka moment happened. This, this refrigerator turned on, it was 20 below zero. Us. It was the coldest night of the year. The free air system brings outside cold air inside. It makes so much sense, we wanted to learn how to build one. OK, so we're going to put you guys to work helping us install a system of fans here and doing some wiring. Um, Richard has the intake housing, which is going to go up above his head. Then we're also going to be changing the evaporator fan. So you're looking into how to make every component of this unit more efficient. Right. What's the first hole we got to cut? Well, well, this hole right here. All right. Yeah, yeah. lefty. Yeah. yeah. First, we put in the intake housing to control how much cold air comes in. All right, dude. Hey. All right, you ready for that? Uh, the intake in? Yeah. You're gonna stick the uh, conduit up first. Okay. Okay, lovely. Okay. Put some foam in here. Just like icing on the cake. Oh yeah. Next, we install an exhaust fan to remove warm air. The vacuum this creates will draw cold air in through the intake. Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now is when I wish to turn the fridge on. All right. <laughs> set it right like you have it. And this just filters the air. Mm -hmm. Then we install a duct to bring the cold air to the intake controller. Sure. Yeah, the wrench. One revolution's fine. Okay. Okay, so we finished insulating the intake duct. Yeah. The outtake is right behind us there. To keep the pressure equalized in yeah. the cooler. Yeah. It's hot up here. Let's get out of here. All right. But on a warm autumn day, how are we going to test what we've just built? We're in Killington, Vermont, where Richard Travers has taught us how to install his free air refrigeration system, which brings outside uh, cold air in. Housing, Butterfly controls on the intake head. regulate the amount of cold okay, air. This. Energy efficient fans keep it circulating in winter, and the compressor is only needed in the summer. Okay, so the free air system is complete. It's yes. completely installed now. Yes. I hope it all works. Yeah, me too. 
I wish it was snowing so we could sort of see that in action. Mm -hmm. well, we can get the fans to turn on. It won't be cold. Right we'll just be blowing in 80 degree air. All right. Okay. Well, well, that's let's, okay. Let's, let's blow in some hot air. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's the compressor temperature rise. You heard that turn on? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You got air fans? So, so this uh, has a uh, like a memory, uh, so it can yes. it, it remembers the usage for the previous day, so you can track how right. efficient up the, to the previous year. Oh, previous year. Yeah. Oh. So since midnight, uh, the compressor's been running two percent. The evaporator is two point two percent. Circulating fan point one percent. This is so that you can have a sense of just how much power your right. your compressor has been having to work, or how, how, how much time it's been working. Right. You can get a good idea of what your savings are by looking at these numbers. Okay. Lose the outside air fans, bringing in that nice cold air. Yeah. 80, uh, yeah. 80, 86 degrees. 86 degrees. Oh, yeah. And the intake over here. It's a lot of power. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. That was uh, pulling the air out. So you can actually see the sunlight in there. Right off the top, you have 50% savings just on those fans. Yeah. Right off the top. This, so I remember you, you were talking about a savings of 2,600, 2,700 kilowatt Kilos. hours for this cooler mm -hmm. over 160 right. days. Yeah. And that's just with these things that you've done in this, right. that we've done in this mm -hmm. one day. Mm -hmm. So it's not a lot of work to get quite a bit of savings. It's probably more than my house uses all year round. Yeah, so, so yes. every single refrigerator in the world is working too hard for what it needs to be doing. Period. Except for the ones we've done. <laughs> but except for the ones you've done, but basically anything but that comes that, off. Anything some people anywhere. think it's just a cold air, cold climate thing. It isn't. Yeah. Right. This is an uh, icing on the cake to be able to use the cold air. Yeah. Right. This, yeah. It's cool when an idea seems so simple and but it hasn't been picked up on yet, and then you see it actually working, and then. You it's know. brilliant. Yeah. Totally brilliant. Well, it's really great to meet you. Yeah. Great yeah. to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really impressive. Really. Thank, Thank you. you. Ten coolers at the ski lodge have been converted to free air, and Richard Travers predicts they will keep 58 tons of CO2 out of the atmosphere, not to mention the $13,000 in savings. From letting nature's cold do the work, next we're going to see how nature's organisms can turn filthy sewage into crystal clear water.